Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Shoe Review of the Deodora Speed Finale AG. Deodora mixes encore comfort with Italian style in the Speed Finale AG. Underfoot, lightweight EVA cushioning provides a plush ride, while Deodora's Duratec 5000 outsole provides traction and durability. To improve heel to toe transition, the shoes feature a distinctive fishtail shape at the heel. Ample interior cushioning combines with a non-slip lycra lining to further improve comfort and support. I've worn Deodora shoes for many years and I've always enjoyed the comfortable ride they provide and that was definitely present here in this Speed Finale AG. The cushioning I thought was superb, it was the highlight of the playtest for me. My feet always felt protected out there on the hard, on the hard court so I could come down from a tough landing and just really feel like the shoe cushioned that impact and made it a very comfortable ride. Interior padding was excellent as well. Uh, my feet weren't sliding around inside the shoes. The, I'd say the fit is a, is a true medium. I have a narrow foot, but uh, with two pairs of socks, I was able to get the shoe cinched up nicely around my foot and find a nice supportive ride. Good blend of grip and give from the outsole, so I thought the traction was pretty spot on. I could pivot easily without the outsoles getting hung up, and then I had enough grip and I really wanted to make that quick sprint to the next shot. So really fun play test for me. They breathe well, kind of did everything well, and another Deodoro shoe that I just really enjoyed playing it. As a big shoe guy, I'm really excited to start getting into these shoe reviews, but I must admit this is my first Deodoro that I've tried. With that said, I thought the Deodora Speed Finale was the perfect entry to the brand for me. I wouldn't go to such lengths in describing the shoe as a heavier, more durable shoe, or even a more lightweight, speedy sort of shoe. The Speed Finale actually kind of falls somewhere in between those two philosophies. I noticed right from the get-go that the shoe was very comfortable at the start, no break-in was required. Um, I didn't fall immediately in love with the shoe, but there was nothing that I could really complain about. There's plenty of material underfoot, and plenty of cushioning on the sides as far as the upper goes, so I didn't feel like I was losing my foot at all or losing my grip, um, but it wasn't also the speediest feeling shoe. The midfoot shank does feel a little bit streamlined to give you a little bit of that heel to toe drop, um, but again, this wasn't the lightest weight, the closest to the court feeling shoe. It was somewhere in the middle of all that. Fit wise, I thought the shoe was pretty true to size width wise um, and allowed me just a little bit of breathing room vertically in the toe box, which I appreciated as opposed to a little bit more of a snugger fit. All in all, the Speed Finale checked a lot of boxes without leaving too much on the table and really kind of blends the two philosophies between a more durable and heavier padded shoe with a more lightweight and closer to the court feeling shoe. Has a little bit of both and is one that I would definitely recommend checking out for somebody that's looking for a little bit of everything. Having tried a couple of different Diodora shoes within the last few months, I was super excited when I was told I was gonna try out the Diodora Speed Finale, especially with the innovated uh, back heel of the shoe. I was super excited to see how that would affect my tennis game. First thing I noticed was the instant comfort level with the shoe. Um, I was wearing a different pair of shoes uh, before I started play testing this shoe, um, and I was having a little bit of a heel uh, ache uh, but as soon as I started wearing the shoe, that heel ache uh, kind of disappeared for me. Um, the toe box was super roomy for me. Um, I typically don't go towards a heavier shoe with a wider base. Uh, I typically like my shoes a little bit more narrow, uh, but this shoe uh, did it all for me. Uh, it didn't feel super heavy. Uh, it still felt light on the court, and I really, really enjoyed uh, this play test and the best thing for me was the durability, especially in the toe area, because I do tend to drag my feet. Uh, so overall, I would definitely recommend this shoe uh, towards anyone that's looking for a nice, comfortable shoe that's gonna provide good amount of overall stability. That's all we got for this version of the Tennis Warehouse Shoe Review. Thanks for watching, and for more information on this Deodora or anything else tennis-related, be sure to head to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.